Welcome, welcome everyone. It's time for more The Expanse, where last time Kamina made it down into the mines in order to try and make it out of this uh, little rock. We need to readjust the antenna to try and send out a distress signal, but in order to do so, we are indeed down here in the mines and uh, with very low oxygen, not doing terribly hot, wouldn't wouldn't you know? We are having flashbacks. We're talking to Anderson Doss, obviously not actual Anderson Doss, but like our version of Anderson Doss, and hearing things that we assume that he would say about us, things that we probably are saying about ourselves. So that's where we are, and uh, we'll see exactly how long this episode is. It might be super short. Who knows? It might be like beyond this door is the settings. We do it. Uh, we do the setting, and we're out. I have no idea. Let's hope that uh, the episode is not that short. I'm done being trapped in the past. But the past isn't done with you. And that guilt will stay with you right up to the end. Alright then, cool. So we leave a series station behind us. Well, not actual series station, and move on. Is this the part where you tell me that there's no use in sending a message? That if anyone hears Kamina Drummer needs help, they'll just start celebrating? Dawes? And now she's getting anxious that Dawes isn't responding, yes. Also, the gravity is gone again, so good thing about that. It means that we can fly first and foremost, but also we might be a little bit more uh, sensible. Who knows? But yes, indeed, I think we are getting to where we need to be quite fast here. So, alright then. That's fine. I'll say where we need to be. I don't exactly know if this is where we need to be, but it is a thing. Why did I start walking? There is no need to do that. Alright then, before we pull any levers, let's just make sure that we check everything. It's quite disorientating to see that there are like <laughs> cargo stuff strapped to the ceiling, but obviously with a very low gravity, that would be a thing that you could do. Uh, anything here? No, no information about anything. Alright then, well, we have only a one way to go here. A door. Almost there. Okay, again, hopefully not too soon. Fucking who? So you're dying of hypoxia on a forgotten asteroid abandoned by your crew. Everything out here can kill you. You taught me that. But you faced pirates and torpedoes. Hell, half your crew tried to kill you at one point or another. 
Are you really telling me that Kamina Drummer is going to be beaten by a goddamn door? Well, probably not, no. So there's Maya. Didn't get her co own coffin, but uh, she showed up in person instead. I can be very defeated here. Either Dawes was right or I was wrong. Isn't those sort of the same thing? <laughs> Isn't are those the sort of same thing? You know what? I'm not gonna allow myself to believe that the Dawes was right. I can say that I was wrong, presumably, but uh, yeah, obviously both of these are not the good options. I never should have come out here. I. I never should have let you. When have you ever let me do anything? Stop beating yourself up. You didn't kill me, Kamina. I saved you. You have work left to do. For the belt and for me. So are you going to spend the rest of your oxygen feeling sorry for yourself? Or are you going to get to fucking work? Well, thank you for the pep talk. That's nice. Also, intriguing about that, by the way, because... Uh, what if you don't sleep with Maya? What if that sort of just dies out? Is it Maya still that comes here to talk to you? Possibly, yes. Like, who else would it be? Uh, all right, then. A pipe. Sure. Let's, before we do anything rash, check the other things. Over here we have a rebar. Uh-huh. And down here, what do we have? have a tube. I don't think a tube is gonna do much. I'm thinking possibly rebar. Aren't those generally pretty damn solid? It's also a bit like um, slim, if you know what I mean. Slim. Uh, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what? A rebar. Possibly good. I was about to say, are we picking one? Because I think we are picking one, yes. What? When did I prop myself down on the ceiling? <laughs> I mean, if that was a, a, a proper rebar, her little, um, uh, her little cutter would actually only, like, I, I don't know, melt it or weld it. Not actually cut it off, possibly. Well, actually, it's a space cutter. I don't know how space cutters work. But it feels like this would actually be a pretty good lever, actually. Not feeling rather well, are we? Well, at least we're feeling a little bit better when I'm in control. That's a good thing. I wonder if... Are you able to fail this? Like, is, is it the fact that I chose the correct one? Or is it just... Doesn't matter which one you pick, you will always get that. Intriguing. I mean, I'm gonna assume that that's the case. Like, it doesn't matter which one you choose. Because, again, I don't think that you can... Really fail this uh, section as such. Hello, that's a place we might be able to go. Actually, that might be where we are going. And we are at the antenna array. Hello. Tensha. 
This is an emergency distress call. I am stranded and near death. Send help immediately. Please, don't let me die. Well, that's a bit cute, actually. But yes, yes, thank you. You came, you gave me a nudge I needed to actually get out of here alive. So, yes, indeed, thank you. Thank you. I will make your sacrifice matter. <laughs>
drama. Come in, drama. We received your distress call. What is your location? Captain Drama, if you are still there, we need your location. I'm here. Airlock. Like Falota. You look like a clogged up recycler filter. <laughs> Better gather your wits. Matna will want to speak with you soon. better off choking to death on that rock hello so it would make sense that it was the pirates who actually <laughs> came and got us yes i suppose that's fair who are you over there there is a person here i'm apparently not interested in the person but all right then a bloodstain why don't we have a bit of a look at that cox should consider himself lucky our brig is a luxury hotel compared to this that is presumably true, yes. We also have some auto turrets that don't do anything shifty in here. Seems like overkill to me. I mean, if you don't want your prisoners to be doing stupid stuff, then pretty damn good. Also an OPA, um, OPA graffiti there again. Also cameras. Hey. Over here. wonder what her story is. So why don't we uh, give a bit of a shout out to her? She doesn't seem too um, interested in me. Looks like an Inya. Whoever she is, she's a long way from home. That is intriguing, yes. Hello! Camina Drummer? Hey, it's Julie Mao! Oh, well, that's intriguing. Because if uh, she has what she has in the series, she's gonna have some pretty cool powers. Possibly. I think that that is her. Uh huh, let's be on your side a little bit, yes? Yeah. Who are you? My name is Julie Mao. 
Anderson Doss has a message for you. Oh, please. Shut up! Uh. This is a blind spot, but they'll be happy to let me rough you up a little. Maybe a couple of minutes? It's our only window. Window? To figure out how we're getting off the ship. And by the way, I just realized that no, maybe Julie Mao is actually the one that... Uh... Oh, bloody hell. Yes. Okay, who are you? Who are you? Just an inner who's very far from home. With a shitload of supplies, I'd much rather give to my friends in the OPA than these fucks. It's me and a group of defectors. I was heading to meet them on Ceres when I was kidnapped by these assholes. Hit me. <clears throat> oh, Sabakawala! <laughs> that should buy us another minute. What's the plan? On the bridge, there's a center console. The screen all the way on the left has a disarm command for the entire break. It needs a security override. The console is Tucson Station. You'll need to somehow move her off of there and keep her distracted long enough for the override to go through. All right then, and okay, I think I have time actually. I think Julie is actually the uh, the initial character that the detective is uh, looking for, and she's very much dead later on. So it's her sister. I should I say sister? Yeah, her sister, right? Wait, maybe. It's a bit unclear in my head right now, but uh, yeah, this might be the one that actually is we're very much dead. Uh, all right then, all right then. I presumably know what she wants. At least I know what she's after, and how far she's willing to go to get it. That's something. I heard her talking about you, after you escaped and killed her men. She was furious, but also, I think she sees something in you now, something she wants. Use it. Ugh. Oh, traitorous Pashangwala. <sighs> you gonna kill her? Or do I get to? Nah. She gets to talk to Man now. Fresh tea, Matna. Hmm. Taki. Chamomile. Good for the throat. It's a habit I picked up in prison on Luna. Now I goes with the stuff. Five, six bulbs a day. When I'm not guzzling the blood of my enemies, of course. That's a joke. And I just want to say, that's not how liquids work in space. You might have uh, magnet boots holding you down, but tea, you don't just pour tea and it doesn't just stay in a cup. That's not how that works. Right? <laughs> Alright. Hilarious. Hilarious. I'm sure your crew are cracking up when they're not scared shitless of you. Torrance, do my jokes crack you up? Fuck no. Your jokes is corny as fuck, boss man. That's Torrance. We call him Thor because no one should ever have to suffer being murdered by a guy named Torrance. So... You're all one big happy family that goes around decapitating people. Decapitating corpses. <laughs> Their owners had no use for them anymore. Inners are sentimental about many things. Corpses, property, manners. If we follow their rules, we'd never win. Our power comes from being willing to do what they are not. You should understand that better than anyone. Come in, a drummer. This is Arlan, captain of the Artemis. Our former captain, Kamina Drama, is dead. 
As you know, her body carries Anderson Dawes' bounty. We are leaving it for you as a token. It was Drummer and her little Martian girlfriend who decided to go after those coordinates. Baratna and I were against it. We have dealt with both of them now. Whatever you are searching for, we don't know what it is, and we don't care. We are going back to Ceres, and you'll never find us in your sectors again. What do you make of that message? It's intriguing, and probably a bit scared, yes. Are there morons, though? Not entirely sure that they're morons. I mean, a bit moronic to just assume that I'm dead. But absolutely scared. They're scared shitless of you. They thought they could distract you and get away with the core. But there's no way you'd waste time with me. Unless you already knew you could catch them. Mainsha, how long till intercept? Three minutes, Matna. It is a remarkable story you have. Betrayed by Dawes, betrayed by Cox, betrayed by your own crew, yet you still care. Did you love her? The little Masha? Uh-huh. I did very much. I can be a little bit uh, salty about, you know, uh, questioning me about that. You know what? I am Camilla Drummer after all, so yes. Fuck you. I'll take that as a yes. That love is the reason why I haven't killed you. We don't employ crew members here. We find family. Look around. Everyone here has been betrayed by someone. Lied to by someone. Their parents, their captains, their governments. Same for me. Now, we have purpose. And that purpose is each other. All of them would die for me as I would for them. <laughs> the belt was built on lies. The only truth out here is family. You call us virus. <laughs> it means nothing. We know who we are and what we fight for. That's how we win. Uh-huh. But you are pirates, <laughs> after all. So you could be a family and do, like, you know, proper stuff. Why would you need to be pirates? But you are pirates. You murder and steal from innocent people. The UNN is innocent? Or do you mean the scavengers trying to take food from our mouths and water from our tanks? We survive against far greater and more ruthless enemies. And we don't apologize for it. If that makes us pirates, so be it. You've come to us at an opportune time. The MK Core is the culmination of everything we've been building to us. You'll see. If you keep an open mind and open heart, you wouldn't be the first on this ship to make it from the brig to the bridge. Or you can choose the airlock instead. Let's go. This might be my only shot. Toussaint. Yes. The Artemis has four functioning PDCs and a torpedo launcher. And they have one massive advantage. What's that? They can destroy you, but you can't destroy them. Not as long as they have the core. I know their weak spots. I know how they'll fly and how they'll fight. Of course you do. But why would you want to help us? Uh-huh. You punish? No, I don't want to punish them. I mean, I don't have a problem with Khan and Virgil and... Uh, well, there's really no one else left on that bloody ship. I have a slight problem with Cox still. I definitely have a problem with Arlen. And, I mean, Rain is sort of fine. But no, I think I 
possibly want to say myself like the most. Because again, it's still it's still just less than fifty percent on that chip that actually, well, actually it's more than fifty percent. Never mind. Um, so it's not necessarily about punishment, is it? Not really. So all right, why don't I be a little bit selfish here? To win my freedom, I can help you disable the ship, and I'm the only person who can go in and find you the MK core. In return, you let me go. It's awfully rude of you to not even consider my offer. If it's a real offer, you'd let me consider it without a gun to my head. Come. Khan knows we're aiming to disable. She'll never let us get a clean angle on the drive thrusters. Your best bet is straight through the nose cone and out the back. Doesn't that have a high likelihood of killing your pilot? I I absolutely do care. Again, Khan, I don't have a problem with Khan. So I don't want her to die. She absolutely has to stay alive. You have to be careful about it. Shoot at the right moment, etc, etc. And also, I suppose that we are going to get to some choice at some point. Do I join up with the pirates or not? Maybe. I mean, we're quite far into the game, so maybe that is not an actual thing. But uh, yes, indeed. Just be careful about it. We should be good. Depends who your gunner is. That used to be Yuri before you killed him. Now it's me. Forget the pilot. I'd worry more about exploding the reactor. But if you get off a clean shot, it'll be fine. I've done it plenty of times. Battle stations! Drummer, on guns! Be ready to kill her the moment I say. Yes, Mama. Ready torpedoes. Torpedoes? We need to keep their PDCs occupied, unless you'd like us to get strafed. All right then, let's pay along. I mean, I think I'm gonna go with this, actually. Yes, I think. Breaking! Flip and maintain distance! No, hold steady! I can get my shot off before we pass. If we pass, we'll be exposed to their guns! Hold speed! Torpedoes first, then take your shot! Come on, Khan. Don't miss now. Oh, I'm controlling. Oh, all right, all right. Ooh, do I... All right. Hull damage! Minimal, Madna. Pressure is stable. Good. I did we get them? Drama! Look! Time to ready the breach pod. Nearing the Artemis. Keep me updated as you clear each floor. Yes, Mama. Drummer, this is our first mission together. 
I hope it won't be our last. But if you step out of line once. Yes, I know. Bullet in head, brains splattered, so on. Good luck. Which one of those is mine? Nah, throw me. See, Martina, she's a trusting person. Tough as iron, but big hearted. Me, though. Let's just say, not all those UNN soldiers were dead before their heads came off. Sasaki. Welcome back. And all right, then that was indeed the end of that chapter. Feels reasonable. We're resolving everything in the next chapter. It kind of feels a bit early because we're getting like a bunch of stuff with the pirates now very late so i that is interesting the final bit there because um you can you can first of all not even fire a missile what happens if you don't even fire the missiles and what happens if you fire the missiles but you don't activate the pdcs on the artemis that's very intriguing. It felt like I very much just went with it on this occasion. So this is a very standard playthrough, I, I suppose. No no swaying off course here. Uh, but alright then, let's go over the choices. I didn't do a single, like, major choice, which is weird. But uh, alright then, who does this? Apparently that is a thing. Telling uh, Doss that he's in past or only in my head. Sure. I told us to shut up <laughs> instead of uh, questioning my own instincts, I think. I don't remember the choice there, really. Uh, the drone evasion. I made it past the drones. Oh, you can get caught by the drones. I see, I see. What happens if you get caught by the drones? Well, that's... In the, that's curious is what I wanted to say. I can also tell uh, DOS off. That was a, basically a 50-50 there. I suppose mainly because, I mean, it doesn't feel like that matters. And like, what the, what the do, does it? <clears throat> oh, sorry. What to do these matter? It was just hall hallucinations. Like, how, how will these affect later stuff? I don't know. Uh, trusting Yuli, obviously. A lot of people, I say obviously, but yes. A lot of people did what I did. I think mainly... I'm gonna assume a lot of people know who Yuli Mao is, so therefore, you know, we know we can sort of trust her. But also it feels like a sensible thing to do in that situation. Don't don't be on the stranger's bad side, so to speak. And then I can be open about Maya. I actually wasn't. Most people said that they love Maya. They don't know who Drummer is, damn it. So, yes, I said F you to Toussaint about that, but I think that Toussaint actually sort of... Uh, uh, understood me in some way there. So there we go, the under chapter 4. We are going into the final bits, and uh, yes indeed, I managed to get two episodes off uh, chapter 4, which means that I'm gonna be ending this series with one big episode. I say big, it doesn't actually have to be big, but a big episode as in one final episode to uh, finish the entire series. So it will all, be, all very much depend on what happens in that final episode, if it's short or long. We've had two pretty short episodes, both, uh, let's say, chapters. I'm calling them chapters just to, <laughs> you know, differentiate them. Uh, but chapter 3 and chapter 4, both actually pretty damn short. I mean, this could almost have been a one-episode uh, chapter, so... 
don't exactly know why they did that and uh, there could be uh, things uh, changing obviously depending on what you do so it might be that I have missed out on the content I wouldn't know obviously but uh, maybe that's something I can fi find out in a second playthrough but there we go that's the end of that in the next episode the final episode we are concluding the story we are dealing with the people on the Artemis and I really don't know where this is going I just uh, thought about that where is this going like are we gonna get the MK core and give it to to salt or are we taking the MK core for ourselves and destroying it like where does this lead that's very very curious we will find out next time for now though this has been Ghost with Gaming with me Christopher thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time